Hey everybody, it is day 219 on my journey to 2000. And in the United States, uh, at the time this video is airing, it is the day of Thanksgiving. And one of my favorite holidays because I'm very big into uh, gratitude and just expressing gratitude. I think that's a secret, you know, to happiness. Um, Oh. I get to make and then you can use it. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, one of the things I'm grateful for. Uh, I, I think gr gratitude is, is uh, a, a secret to happiness. Um, no matter what your situation is, there's something to be grateful for. Um, and so I, I, I wrote a little message in the Discord here. If you have time to read it, go ahead and read it. But um, essentially, it's just me opining for a bit on, um, you know, how if you told me 219 days ago that I'd have a YouTube channel with 4,000 subscribers, I would have probably laughed. But now it's a reality and, and there's just a whole nother dimension of... Uh, something that I'm, I'm grateful for this year. So I thought I'd kick off with that uh, before I see who I'm playing today. Ivan, 29061 out of Ukraine. Ivan, or Ivan, however, however you pronounce it. So I'm gonna go actually uh, close out this Discord because I get a little it's a little noisy here during the games. So Queen's Pawn, Zucker Tort Variation. <clears throat> we have the Bishop coming out early. Um, let's see what, there was something about this. I'm just going to bring it out here, bring out my bishop. And then I think I'm going to take here. I've got this diagonal here that I can use to my advantage. I've got this check here that I can use. So maybe after I pin and take, take, then check, take. Could happen. You never know. Oh, but then after takes, then we have this um, this check, which wouldn't really be good. So do I push? No, I don't push the pawn. Yeah, I don't know if I played this right. I think I got a little over my skis here. And if you've been following my journey, you'll know that I'm, I have experience with getting over my skis, having uh, recovered from a ACL tear from earlier this year. Uh, so I think they see it. So if I come in with a check here, they block with this. I take the bishop, they come down with check here. I, the only way to get out of it is this. And then they come down with a check here. 
and then my king is on the run and it's not looking good for me. So I might need to think about this for a little bit. Because even now, even now, it's not very apparent how I would block it. Let's do this in hopes that they don't move their bishop and then I can take it on my next move. And if they do take, then I will recapture here, opening up this and then this, and then I'll have a double attack on the king, maybe, hopefully. together now which is okay I'm gonna develop my bishop or my knight here and I'm gonna push this pawn to make way for this and then I'm gonna castle I think we're still okay here they're just developing I'm developing they're adding another attacker here. So if I go here, takes, 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 takes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? On this day of Thanksgiving, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the subscribers to just jot down in the comments uh, something that you are grateful for. Could be anything, anything at all. This is not a very good diagonal. And this is a, gives me a little bit more freedom. There's a chance they'll take anyways. I would if I were them. Would I? Would I? grateful for so many things. I'm grateful f that I haven't blundered yet. Uh-oh. Any brothers? No. I'm, software update. I don't want to do that. Part of me wants the castle, but then I also think that this might happen. And I need to calculate past the fear. So I do this, and this, and this. to play this. They would 
need to retreat, the square would be taken. So they'd come back here. I think that's okay. Calculate past the fear. Oh, they can take this pawn though with the bishop. And I wouldn't be able to recapture because then they fork my rook and my queen. Yikes, hope they don't see that tactic. I think that's my next move. If they do take here, I think that's still my next move. I lose the pawn, but then, then I open up the attack here. I don't know. Let's see, what, what should I have done? Instead of castling, I, could, I couldn't have moved there anyways because then they would just come down with this check. Okay, so they retreat, which is good for me. I am not going to... What should I take? I like the idea of blocking that bishop from... It's also getting my queen into the action here. This opens up this diagonal for my bishop. If they take, then I can take here. Connect my rooks here soon. This will get this. So maybe I instead I do this. Gain some tempo. Make them to okay so they go this way still need to connect my rooks there's this move I take I take I take I take I kind of like this move see what they do here. Weakens my king a little bit, but I don't know, I feel like I'd be at least pushing them back. Yeah, I'm going to take this because they can capture that pawn. This breaks open this pawn structure. But then this would be, this would connect to them. So I think I'm gonna do this move here to prevent this pawn from coming down. You know, I could probably expect them to try and, well, 
this move attacks the pawn. And connects the rooks. Take here, take back with the queen. They're threatening, check here. So I can block with the rook. Time check, going got four minutes left. Block the rook, but then that's an easy kick. So it looks like I'm defending that square with the knight. Yes. And if they take this pawn, then I can take the bishop. <clears throat> Oh, this comes with check though. Oh. I didn't see it. I just didn't. I just didn't see it. And they sure did. Two minutes and 44 seconds left. Gotta be careful of these moves here. I'm not really liking this situation. So they're bringing their rook out in hopes to, but I can do this, and the queen's gonna have to move, and I can take. But why don't I just do this? I still have time to Let's get this queen out of here. That move, then I'm gonna have to take check this, this maybe. I don't wanna get rid of pieces though. I 
I want to keep my pieces on. Check takes they take my pawn I'm gonna come up here try and get some crazy attack going but I don't think it's this and this and takes check over here well yeah, there might be a mate opportunity there I can walk him into but things are gonna things would have to go my way pretty much okay so they are doing that Takes, takes this opens up that. Or do I do that first? This, then this, then check here. I'm gonna run out of time. I need to move fast. stuff. Darn it. I wish I had more time. <sighs> Jeez. Darn it. I just don't want to lose on time. I think all I really have to do is come down here. Take start taking my pieces off the board. <clears throat> and I'd be toast. Yep. I ah, lost on time. Man, good game.
Yvonne, 29061. Wow, played with 90% accuracy. Only two mistakes. I had a blunder and two mistakes, so let's see where those are. Zekertor variation, not super familiar. That was a mistake. I got too ambitious with this. Yeah, kicking that bishop out would have been the best one. And if they retreated, I could go B5, and then they come here. And then I'd probably... Sorry, not B5. G5. And I go here. And I could reinforce this pawn with B5. I was thinking pinning this and then leverage this check, but I think they saw that. And by failing to realize that they had a pretty strong attack if I did that maneuver, uh, I gave up a lot of development. Um, but I had a great move there to defend. I developed, continue developing, and here we are. Um, so I didn't make a mistake super early in the game, but I recovered, and these are all good moves. There's an inaccuracy, but I want to get to where my mistake and blunders were. Great move. Yes, yes. Isolating that pawn was a good idea. Okay, there's a mistake. So I thought knight to f6 would prevent this square from the checkmate. But it left this pawn undefended. So is there a way to defend this square and protect that pawn? Uh, just to get rid of the check after that. So if I had moved my king, let's see. If I had moved my king here, wait, no, no, that's it. That's mate and h1. Oh, okay. So the move is king f7. Wow. And then if they take here, And I just attack the no. I can attack the bishop. Bishop can just come here. But then I threaten the queen. Oh yeah, I'd have this open file. Queen can't get out at that point. So Bishop would need to go back here. And then at the same time I do this. So that Queen goes here, attacking this pawn. And then I come up here. They have to go H3. I can, ooh. There's a lot of discovered attacks available here. I can take with check. No, that's not good. Anyways, it opened up a lot of possibilities if they were to take because I can then get my rook over and have the open file. And I didn't even think about that. So they take the, the free pawn. I move my king over. Best move, best move. Good move, good move, good move. And there's a mistake. Did I capitalize on it? No, I blundered in, in response. Um, if I could do this one again...
would it be to take here? And then they take, and then I threaten the queen? No. And then takes, takes, and then I can, oh, I can just, but then they can bring their, their rook down. I can block it with the knight. And then they'd have that advantage, but Say they bring it here, then I can go, I can just kick it out, and then have an attack here. Um, so they wouldn't go there, they'd probably go here, which I'd have the same attack. If they go here, I can come here, they might go there, attack, and then they'd have to retreat. And then I would finally win this pawn. So there was ways to get at that pawn, and I was busy. Um, I was worried about that. So I went from, uh, had a chance to absolutely no chance with that move. Takes, takes, takes. And then it's just running time off the clock here. There was no, there was no way for me to win after that. Yvonne29061, hey, great game with the 90% uh, accuracy. Well done. Until next time. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.